Um, well, this is our one big fundraiser of the year. We do, ha we do have a number of charities that we support in general throughout the year, but this is our big push for the year, and we really do um, push the community hard and our members and our employees to, uh, to step up and support. And we always choose the, the best charities, the best causes that, that really um, pull on people's heartstrings and, and, and make people want to open up their wallets. Welcome to the Fisher House here at the Stratton VA Medical Center. Uh, we're very proud to uh, be with son Mark today, uh, uh, marking off a very momentous occasion. We're going to start out today's uh, event with our director, Linda Weiss. She is the director of the Medical Center. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, you're looking and you are in the very first Fisher House that was built uh, for the VA. Uh, Zachary and Elizabeth Fisher were generous enough to establish the Fisher Houses and the Fisher House Foundation across military bases to take care of active duty personnel and their families. But they well recognized that at a certain point an active duty member becomes a veteran. And they elected to partner with the VA in creating Fisher Houses across the country. Uh, we currently serve generally about 15 people who come and stay with us. Some are families, some are veterans here for extended care. And uh, this is a place of warmth, peace, and strength that supports people during their treatment and their time with us. It's a home away from home for hospitalized veterans and their families. And we are proud to host this particular um, house today. We are, on, in September, we will begin our 20th year as a Fisher House here on the grounds of the Albany VA, extending what is what we call the one place where every day is Veterans Day. I have the honor of introducing our next speaker, a true supporter of veterans everywhere from every conflict and every time. We are incredibly fortunate to have his presence and his support in our jurisdiction and also for his um, support for veterans outside of just this area and recognizing their issues, and that is Congressman Paul Tonko. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Um, well, thank you, Linda. It's uh, great to join with everyone here, with the uh, reps from my, my colleague uh, Chris Gibson and with Charles Burke, who does so much with the Albany County Veterans certainly with Linda and Peter, for their outstanding devotion to the VA. Awesome work that's performed, a tremendous undertaking and mission statement, but you respond admirably and compassionately, and we're all very proud of that track record. And to our friends from Sunmark, um, anytime we see or hear Sun these days, we uh, are joyful <laughs> because of so much soggy weather out there. So uh, Sunmark, you wear your name beautifully, and. It's great to know that you're participating with the vets here in a very meaningful way, and I'll let you talk about that. I don't want to uh, jump ahead, uh, but I heard about the uh, great work that you'll be doing. The um, whole essence of Fisher House, and by the way, I see Colleen out there with the camera. I ought to thank Colleen Williams for her work with all of our vets and her networking with our VA, which we enjoy. But um, the celebration of Fisher House, uh, as Linda indicated, uh, coming upon its 20th anniversary, and I bear with me a proclamation uh, highlighting that. Uh, but the, uh, the dream uh, of Zachary and Elizabeth, who are no longer with us, uh, but their wonderful uh, sense of wanting to respond to the needs of veterans and their families, to be able to create within this house a, a set of principles that allow for a warm and comfortable feeling so that you can relieve some of the stress and some of the burden that distance will provide and that um, that illness or 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 um, weakness of some kind uh, can penetrate into the system uh, having a home like this uh, is so very valuable uh, looking around this facility and I remember uh, when it was opening I, I was here for the opening but uh, to look around and see how this house is transformed into a home uh, by the amount of love and dedication and devotion to the veterans, the want to be that place, special place away from home, 
uh, the desire to create that sense of peace and comfort and strength uh, for our veterans is absolutely uh, the hallmark of this wonderful 20 years now of tradition. And uh, to know that these networks are continuing as we speak and that there are a number of the Fisher Houses at bases, at VAs, uh, in hospitals, knowing that this service is provided is a dream come true that will continue to live well beyond now uh, the first initial uh, seeds planted uh, by Zachary and Elizabeth. Uh, it's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful sense that brings the entire um, response to the veteran to completion. It's allowing for the families and veterans who are here to uh, uh, receive treatments or, or uh, various uh, uh, responses. Uh, it's good to know that there is this comfort zone called Fisher House. And so we're very proud of the work that's been done here, very comforted uh, by the relief that it provides and very much driven by the example it showcases that a house can be a house but a home takes on an added sense of value and uh, the value here is the compassion the respect uh, the absolute love poured forth uh, for those who have served this nation so very well uh, renders it a home a very warm and loving home and um, with all that um, in its stead uh, let me present to Linda this 20th anniversary proclamation. Mm, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we actually will come over yes. this way. <laughs> this is from the House of Representatives, so that includes Chris Gibson and Paul Tonko. So. Ah, thank you so much. You're it's welcome. Wonderful. As Congressman Tonko has noted, with us today are some other distinguished guests. Uh, Jim Haggerty representing uh, particularly uh, Congressman Gibson, who could not be with us today, but also a, a wonderful supporter of veterans. And uh, Mr. Charles Burks, head of the Albany County Veterans Service Agency, and here for another veteran, our county executive, uh, Dan McCoy. Charles? Thank you. Uh, as I refer to you as Dr. Weiss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congressman, my fellow Marine, Mr. Potter, to guests and all other honored that need to be honored in here, uh, to veterans that are among us right now, we thank you. We thank you, Son Mark, for what you're doing. And really, the Fisher House is a fisher of men and women who have served, who has given a great deal of their life and servitude to this country. And I use this quote often, he that is the greatest among us is the one that is willing to serve. And we thank our veterans for serving, we thank Son Mark for serving, and we thank uh, the VA hospital for serving, our Congress member and associates, thank you. Veterans are, come from our communities. They're our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers. They serve, and at some point they become veterans. The echoes of service ring long. The VA still cares for two Civil War beneficiaries. Roughly 100 um, World War, uh, 100 um, Spanish, well, I'm sorry, two Civil War beneficiaries, 100 Spanish War, um, American War veterans, and over 2,300 uh, World War I beneficiaries. These are families of veterans who have served. But as a veteran comes home and, and is supported, they're not just supported by the VA. They are supported by their community. They came from their community. They come back to their community. They are members of their community. With us today are two of our veterans from Team Albany participating in some of the different national sports arena games. Uh, these gentlemen are with us today along with Michelle Ferrillo, the program manager. And one of the neat things about these, uh, didn't someone just win a gold medal in golf? Yeah. 
it's because veterans get to go to these programs because they're supported by communities. So today we have a very special partnership we want to recognize. And at this point, I'm going to uh, ask Mr. Potter to say a few words about Sunmark and Mr. Bodak. Sure, sure. Like you've heard, um, a lot of what we do is, is made possible through our partnerships, certainly through our elected officials and representatives, um, definitely with our community. And our, our community partners are uh, what help <clears throat> to recognize not only the sacrifices veterans make, but the sacrifices their families make. And through their efforts, um, we can recognize uh, those sacrifices. So without further ado, I want to call up uh, the CEO of Sunmark. Um, we're very proud of this partnership that we have with them. And um, he will come up here and, and tell you a little bit about um, what's on our docket, what's on our plan. And uh, Mr. Bruce Baudet. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, Sunmark Federal Credit Union remains committed to serving veterans and active military throughout the capital region and at our branch offices at the Stratton VA Medical Center and at the Waterbleed Arsenal. This year is a special year for us as we have selected the Fisher House as our recipient of the proceeds for our 14th annual Golf Classic. It takes place on August 9th at the Eagle Crest Golf Club. Last year we raised over $26,000 for Sunnyview Hospital, so we do quite a good job. We are very excited to be partnering this year with Fisher House since they provide such a great service for veterans and their families. We hope to raise at least as much money for this year as we did last year for Fisher House, um, but my personal goal is to hit $30,000. We're Right now we're somewhere between 20 and 25, and uh, we've never gone over 26,000, so I'm looking to set a record this year. Um, also, this year we have upped our game with the launch of what we call Operation Golf. It's a campaign to collect used golf balls and golf equipment that is distributed through the VA's veteran services to our troops both locally and overseas. We have set up over two dozen collection points in the capital region, including Sunmark branches and VA outpatient clinics. And this is one of the uh, collection repositories right there um, that we'll have out in the uh, various sites. Uh, we've also received excellent support from area golf courses with donations for this cause, like Eagle Crest and, and others. So contact Sunmark if you wish to donate any golf supplies for the troops. Lastly, I am happy to mention that Team Albany, was recently referred to here, comprised of veterans from the Adaptive Sports Program at the Stratton VA Medical Center, will be playing in our event on August 9th, and we welcome you. Um, we appreciate all the support that we get from golfers and sponsors for this great cause. And again, contact Sunmark or the VA or Fisher House, I should say, uh, to sign up to play or to sponsor. And lastly, I want to thank uh, Congressman Tonko for his outstanding support of both credit unions and veterans affairs over the years. Uh, you've always been there for us, Paul, when we need you, and it's greatly appreciated. My pleasure. So, thank, you. thank you. And thank you all. With that, we're going to conclude. <clears throat> However, the, uh, the event is not done. Uh, we invite you to take a, sh a short tour through the facility, uh, see that what we offer to uh, uh, veterans and their families, uh, and it's free of charge. It's, it's provided to them uh, for the service that they've provided our country. Um, Albany Stratton VA serves 22 counties uh, in upstate New York. And out of those 22 counties, we have 12 community-based outpatient clinics where we provide services in the community. But there is some time that a veteran or a veteran's family will need to come to VA here in Albany. Uh, we're happy to be housed in Albany, happy for the county, uh, for the state and federal support. Uh, and this Fisher House, uh, with the help of, of our great partners like Sunmark, uh, is here to be able to serve those veterans from those 22 counties. So please take part, take a, a view around. We have some folks that are staying here that will uh, be happy to, uh, to talk to you, if you will. Uh, certainly Team Albany, and uh, it really is a great, great uh, opportunity to, to see what Fisher House has to offer. Thank you all for coming, and uh, uh, we'll see you around.